Hello chocolate lovers, uh, welcome to this episode uh, of Cacao and Chocolate. Um, we are unfortunately in this uh, lockdown due to the pandemic, uh, very unfortunate to be in this situation but we thought what best could be done to get you engaged, to, to share some of our knowledge and go back in time really. What we are trying to do here is uh, going back in time to the Mayan age and also coming back to what happens today currently in Mexico uh, and how cacao is actually drank and not consumed as a chocolate. So we have over here uh, a set of uh, cocoa beans that we have harvested from a farm that we have adopted uh, where it is the fermentation is based on our requirement and what we are going to do is roast them, crack them, winnow them and actually use a metate to make chocolate out exactly the way Mexicans do even today. So let's get started. So we have a batch of uh, fermented, dried, raw cocoa beans. When we say raw, it means that we have not yet roasted it. This is directly from the farm and we store it in 2 kilo bags like these. So we open up the bags and of course we are happy with the aroma that comes out. And then we would start roasting some of these cocoa beans. And we'll use a, a pan that is not flattened. Uh, and, anyways, we would be quite constantly moving them around. So we can smell, we can almost smell the farm here, the ferment. Uh, yeah, and it's all good to go. So here we start roasting, we, we have to ensure that uh, you know none of the beans get burnt unevenly so you have to constantly keep moving this around. Uh, it's a good 5 to 10 minute job and uh, you know it's, it's quite easy to figure out when you have to stop roasting uh, because initially it's on high flame and what we are going to do now is we are going to reduce the flame a bit. So uh, we are past midway of roasting and uh, as you will see some of the beans have turned black. Um, we can smell a lot of brownies here and the beans have started cracking a bit. We have heard a couple of cracks which means from now on we have to roast a little bit uh, carefully and pay a lot of attention so that we stop roasting at the right time. So it is a crack that you have to really look out for. Ah, we heard another few cracks now. Okay, so uh, it's important that you don't over roast. And uh, what we can see now is after we heard a few cracks, uh, the beans have all got puffed up and, and it's pretty visible. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to stop roasting now uh, and we're going to pour it uh, in this vessel. So now that we have roasted uh, cocoa beans with us uh, which have been de-shelled, uh, we now get to this uh, metate which is uh, you know a very old invention, basically a product made out of stone uh, which is what they used to grind or smoothen the, uh, the paste with. Uh, here in South India, uh, we are based in Chennai and what we use this for almost every day is to make chutney which is uh, what goes along with the dosas which is the, which is the flattened pancakes. Uh, the only difference however is that uh, our ammis, which is what we call it here in South India, are normally flat, right? But we modified this stone-based 
um, metate uh, to, to have a little bit of a curve just to ease in the process a bit. Um, so what we have here is uh, quite a quite a heavy, probably is 2-3 kilos um, of, of a stone that helps you with the grinding and this is where uh, we would, uh, you know, this is the metate we would use to, to grind the, uh, the paste today. So what we are out here to make as we said is a Mexican uh, tablet uh, where we would use cocoa beans, we would use uh, organic products like coconut sugar, we have cinnamon, we have vanilla powder uh, or you could use uh, fresh vanilla and we also have some pepper. We are substituting black pepper uh, and we are having it instead of cat pepper because we don't have access to cat pepper considering it's a lockdown also. Uh, so all the products are organic and they are plant based. So we have some uh, organic cocoa beans here that we have roasted and uh, peeled. We have some organic coconut sugar. We then have some organic vanilla here which is again of Indian origin. Uh, we have some uh, organic Sri Lankan cinnamon here. And we have black pepper. Okay, now we have a metade that has been uh, blow dried, uh, slightly warm, so that helps. Uh, and now we'll get started quickly with uh, uh, crushing the cocoa beans a bit. Yeah, so I'm just going to put in some cocoa beans here. If you, do, if you do see some husk, please do throw them away. Uh, with this, let me just pack them here to break them up a bit. It smells, as soon as it breaks, you know, there's a little bit of uh, aroma that comes through and that's delicious. Right now, my arms, I mean, my palm is uh, sanitized. It, it's all clean. So I'm going to be using it, you know, while uh, grinding this further. So the idea is to keep bringing it towards the center. And this is really how we wish to keep grinding the cocoa bean. So, as we do this, we keep bringing it to the center. The thing I can say about this now is the aroma is just so delicious. So we continue to grind this and at this stage it's, it's a, a good idea to put in some warm water that uh, we placed here. Just very little uh, and remember it's not chocolate yet right so there's no problem with seizing or anything of that sort. So it's just some warm water uh, to make sure that you're able to make a quick paste out of it. It really helps uh, the cause and very quickly you would see how this entire thing turns into a puffy paste. Pardon my wastage. Um, of course, we could have done this with a little lesser quantity, but uh, yeah, it's making a great paste for now. So we're going to stop with the grinding process, and as you see. We're going to make small balls out of this. Uh, of course, very important to have your hands sanitized. And here, so we have balls which we will press flat and make it palm sized. So it's lovely. And there you go. We have the first one here.
really nice natural sound there and these are the four tablillas that we have made so these are mexican hot chocolate in currently a solid form we will go ahead and make some hot chocolate with this very soon so we have our uh, mexican hot chocolate tablets ready and uh, you know this can be stored for even over a, a year uh, and what you'll notice is that this is quite grainy uh, the texture of course is very coarse because this is not the typical baking chocolate that you would use for your uh, baking needs uh, this is specifically to make hot chocolate and of course as, as you saw in the video it has a lot of spices it is sweetened with coconut sugar uh, it's completely vegan uh, plant based so what you're going to do now is um, you could do it two ways obviously right you could first just mix some hot water uh, and, and mix this along with that uh, that would be a really hardcore drink uh, what we're going to do here in fact is a little different uh, we have uh, heated up some almond milk uh, it helps to get a little bit of the almond flavor out um, and we're going to add some sweetness again based on taste uh, and we're going to use this um, wooden spinner if you call it uh, you know to froth the hot chocolate so this is quite hot now which is why I'm not I'm not touching it with my with my palm uh, we've heated this up a bit uh, and, and the aroma is quite almondy um, and we also have over here uh, cinnamon uh, and this is from our visit to Sri Lanka very recently um, you know and, and of course it's not the cassia or cassia or whatever you call it uh, this is the original cinnamon and if you can see a lot of these uh, uh, paper thin uh, you know box uh, on the inside uh, so we're going to use this instead of a spoon um, uh, and this, this premium quality cinnamon so we're going to have uh, uh, an extra uh, sweetness added so we'll be mindful of the amount of coconut sugar we would use uh, today um, so what we have here is you know the tablets we've uh, so we've broken them down into pieces what we're going to do now is we're going to use this and pour in some of the warm almond milk right and we'll probably pour a little bit more and then going to drop in a few of the chocolate Mexican tablets, right? And uh, let's get moving with this. I think we've uh, spun it enough, so we're going to we're going to now put it in a in a mug that that I have here. Okay, not too warm, not too hot, so it's good. And before, okay, and. What we're going to do now is we're going to use a cinnamon stick instead of a spoon for people to decide how much of the cinnamon flavor they would need and that's the hot chocolate for you the mexican tablet hot chocolate 